Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well and today I'm going to be doing a video on what I'm bringing to the hospital with me when I have my baby girl. So I'm just going to show you what's in my hospital bag, my toiletries, anything that I'm bringing. So I will show you. Now it's not 100% done. I'm always thinking of different things to add to it. So it might not be 100% complete, but for the most part, it is. <laughs> so I'll start off with my toiletry. So it's just this little bag from Walmart. I think it's pretty cute and it actually ties. So I'm just going to untie it now. And the cool thing about it, it has a hook so it can hook onto like a bathroom door or something and it comes with three different compartments. So I'm just going to show you what I packed. So First off, I packed some body butter from the body shop. This is the lemon one. I don't know if I'll actually use this or not, but my belly is extremely itchy because I do have PUPPP. It's a skin irritation rash that you get in the third trimester. You might not even know you have it because it's just like irritated stretch marks and just really, really itchy. So it doesn't actually look like a rash, at least not mine. But I am bringing this with me to the hospital. And then I'm bringing the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Fragrance Free Hand Cream because my hands might get dry. I'm not sure. I just thought it would be nice to bring it with me. Then I am bringing my favorite lip balm, which is the Smith's Strawberry lip balm. This is from the makers of Rosebud Salve. So really love that. Then I'm bringing some gum which I don't know if I'll actually have but my husband might want some. I don't know. But I'm bringing it. <laughs> then I'm bringing a headband to tie, to pull my hair back if my hair is in my face and I just don't want it down. <laughs> then I'm bringing two different hair ties. Then I'm bringing my Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap because I'm not sure if scented um, soaps and body washes will be good for me since I am going to be healing and stuff. So I thought gentle is best. Then I'm bringing my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser which I use all the time. I just have a bigger size in my bathroom but this is just a travel size to wash my face with. Then I have the moisturizer. It's the Cetaphil moisturizer, just a little sample size. Then I have some Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. It's just a little sample that I had and it's pretty much like I have a little bit left. So it will tie me over in the hospital if I need it. And then brought some cotton pads like these are the Shiseido ones which are my favorite so definitely had to bring them <laughs> then I'm bringing the summer's eve cleansing cloth for sensitive skin gynecologist tested I'm not sure if you can use these but they're like feminine wipes so I just brought them in case then I brought these ponds wet cleansing towelettes with vitamin E just for my face or whatever I want to use it for. Then I got this travel kit with a toothbrush, toothpaste, and toothbrush cap. And then I got these Ban Total Refresh Cooling Body Cloths with smooth powder finish. And it's in the scent Fresh Spring. So this might be good after you deliver and you're sweaty and hot and it will just be nice and refreshing for you. <laughs> Then, the last compartment, I have a little secret deodorant, which I don't want to stink during delivery. <laughs> and then I brought a shower cap because my hair takes eight hours to air dry and sometimes I don't want to wash my hair and have it soaking wet. So, shower cap is needed. <laughs> then, these two bottles came with the bag and I just put some shampoo in one and conditioner in the other. So 
That is what I brought. Then I got some pads, some thick, thick pads. I know the hospital probably will provide them, but I just wanted to bring mine in case. And then I also brought some breast pads as well, but my, my hospital may provide them, I'm not sure, but I brought some in case. And I have been using them since I was 16 weeks pregnant because I have been leaking colostrum since then. So, really annoying, but I've been using them. <laughs> and I have some other things in my actual my actual hospital bag like in the compartments I brought some Batiste dry shampoo in the blush scent so this will be handy and let's see Did I, do I have anything in the other drawer or zipper I should say I have more pads I feel like a bunch of them and oh I'll show that later but that is some of the toiletries that I will be bringing with me. Now I will go on to this little makeup bag from Clinique and I know not everyone wears makeup in the hospital but when people are coming to visit and for photos with me and the baby I do want to have at least some makeup on. Now I might not use everything in this bag but I just wanted to be prepared because you never know if you're going to need a c-section and when you do have a c-section they usually have you stay three or four days in the hospital so prepared <laughs> so i brought the naked basics palette from urban decay this is my favorite like go-to travel palette it comes it has everything you need a nice highlight um everything is matte in here except for the highlight but you can do a nice neutral eye, nice smoky eye, which I always, I obviously will do a neutral eye in the hospital. Then I brought some Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which I do love this powder. It's very, very nice. One of my favorites. Then I brought some blush. This is the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush, which is a very pretty blush. Then I got... Then I'm bringing my favorite BB cream, which is the Avon Ideal Flawless BB Cream. And then I'm bringing this concealer, which is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer Stick. And then I'm bringing the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless. It's just a concealer for under the eyes. Then I'm bringing my Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Zero. No, not Zero, Perversion. Then I have let's see, some lip balms and stuff. Let me see. Oh, my mascara that I'm bringing is the Alme Get Up and Grow Mascara. Then I'm bringing the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in Rock and Rouge. And then this one in Candid Coral. Or is that Candied Coral? Candied Coral, I believe. So just two options for that and then the buxom lip gloss in Katie because I love the sensation of it and it just feels so good and my eyeshadow primer which is the Milani eyeshadow primer and then I just brought a couple brushes the expert face brush from Real Techniques and the it cosmetics this is just like a powder brush I guess and some eyeshadow brushes for blending, adding color, and stuff like that. So those are the brushes that I'm bringing. So that is everything that I'm bringing makeup wise. So not too much and I probably won't wear a lot of it but I just want to be prepared. I don't know. I just feel like myself when I wear makeup so that is why I'm bringing it. <laughs> okay. Now for what is actually in my hospital bag. So it looks like this. It's just a bag that I'm bringing. So I'm going to show you what I'm bringing. I'm bringing my iPad mini, which is a must. And of course my iPhone, which is 
right here and their their chargers and everything but I did not pack those yet I bought some extra flip-flops because they say they're sh the showers at um, hospitals you should always wear flip-flops so thought I'd bring those brought some little pajama PJ shorts just some little comfy shorts I brought let's see what else these are just some pajama pants I think like PJ bottoms just some lounging with a drawstring and everything so nice and loose fitting and then this let's see what else do I got in here this is a robe which is just a blue robe which I'm not sure I'll use or not um, these are my my PJs that I'm bringing with me and they're a little bit wrinkly but it looks like this so that is the PJ top just pink and pretty and this these are the bottoms they also have a drawstring they have hearts all over them which is so cute and I just brought some let's see what else I just brought a bunch of like underwear that I'm not really like a bunch of these type of underwear that they're they're not my favorite but I they do fit and I don't care if they get ruined <laughs> and another pair and then I brought two sports bras two pairs of ankle socks which I hate wearing socks to be honest like I don't like wearing socks at all even in the winter I hate it and then I brought this little like mirror thing like that and oh what else there was something in here that I was going to show oh I think these are socks too some black socks so that is everything for now of course I'm going to be bringing all of the baby stuff that I need for Gracie and a going home outfit for me but this is what I have so far and yeah that is what's in my hospital bag so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later bye